the next step is for you to take the three ideas that you selected and for each idea I want you to really articulate four issues. Take each idea and ask yourself four questions. The first question relates to the customer problem. What is the customer problem you are trying to solve? That's what I mean by customer pain points. Again, I want a problem statement, not a solution statement. Many times people mistake customer problem and they define customer problem in terms of the solution. Customer never buys a two inch drill. Customer buys a two inch hole. That's the customer problem. The drill happens to be a solution to the problem, maybe the best solution. But I don't want you to define the problem in terms of the solution. I just want you to define the problem. Customers never buy Coca-Cola. Customers rent Coca-Cola to quench thirst. And quenching thirst is the customer problem. So I want you to first articulate for this box the idea, what is the problem that the customer is facing? Then the second question comes to the solution statement. What is the business model innovation you're going to create to solve that problem? And again, remember business model involves who's my customer, what is the value the customer is seeking, and what is the value chain architecture with which I'm going to create that value. So again, think about what is your solution to that problem? How are you going to construct a new business model to solve that customer problem? So the first question is customer pain points. Second is your business model solution to that customer pain point. The third question I want you to articulate is the market attractiveness of your box three idea. What is the size of the addressable market? What is the price point at which this market will unlock? What is the total market size? These are, this simply quantifies why you think this is a, such a big opportunity. And the fourth question is capabilities. What are the core competencies that will be required to unlock this opportunity? And of course, the core competencies this, that are required minus the core competencies that you already have will determine the new competencies you have to build. So for each one of the three box three idea, I want you to prepare a document which says, this is the customer problem, this is the business model we are going to construct to solve the problem, this is the potential market size, and these are the capabilities that will be required to actually crack open this opportunity. Once you have completed this, then we will describe you the next step.